So you crash landed on an island. The only things that you have are the clothes on your back, ice skates, a volleyball, and some DVDs. You are alone. What will you do with your first hour? You have lots of options. Food, water, shelter, exploration, falling apart in a bubbling mess. These are all choices that you have in the first moment of time. All of these options might be appropriate depending on the circumstances, but the key is that you have to make a choice. Scarcity drives these choices. We can't do everything at once. By making a choice, we give up something else. This concept is opportunity cost. Think about our scenario from before. You made a choice. What is the next best option? While you give up everything that isn't your choice, the biggest thing you are giving up is the opportunity cost. You are ultimately choosing between those two things. When we make choices, we need to weigh the costs and the benefits of each decision against one another. In the game Hegemony, you have to weigh the choice of playing the card in your hand versus the actions you have available. In Settlers of Catan, you have to decide whether to trade a bunch of cards through the port trade or risk losing half of what you have if a 7 is rolled. In Power Grid, you need to choose what power plant to buy, giving up the opportunity to buy the others. But we can apply this in real life as well. Should I study for my next exam or hang out with friends? Should I go to college or get a job? Should I buy or rent? Should I stay single or commit to a relationship? We can view the choices we make through the economic way of thinking, also known as cost-benefit analysis. The reason we do this type of thinking is so that we can take our scarce resources and make the decision that we truly want and can benefit from the most. We are maximizing our efficiency in our decision making. In our example from before, the benefits of going to college would include expanding your skills and knowledge in a particular area of expertise, building relationships with people you would not know otherwise, networking for a future career, and the potential to gain more income later. The cons would include the costs that would be associated with getting the education and potential lost opportunities to work and earn income during that time period. The pros and cons of going to college can be weighed against choosing not to go to college. The pros of that strategy would be that there would be no short-term financial cost and you could get into a job or career earlier networking in the workplace and gaining skills in that setting. The con would be that there are jobs that require specific skills or educational benchmarks, which may limit your long-term freedom and earning potential. It isn't as if either one of these choices is wrong, but as you weigh the costs and benefits of each, you may find that one of them is a better choice for you in your particular life situation. Just one example of cost-benefit analysis. Think about your own decision-making. How do you use cost-benefit analysis when you make decisions? Or if you don't use cost-benefit analysis and began to add that to your decision-making, how do you think it would change your decisions? Leave a comment on the video with your thoughts.